What is up guys, Steve here, and today I am at Disneyland at the famous Plaza Inn with a crazy big giant breakfast. And we actually get our own soundtrack in here when the characters start coming around, which is just amazing. I've never done this. And this so far has been an awesome experience just coming in here and getting all the food and seeing all the stuff. And I can't wait for the characters to come around right now, man. This is really cool. And here they come, guys. We got the little mouse from Cinderella and Tigger and Chip and Dell heading up the rear. Check this out. How cool is that, man? <laughs> Zoe loves their treehouse in uh, Mickey's Toontown. How cool is that, man? <laughs> All right, the final verdict. Disney has charged us a lot of money to get completely stuffed because you gotta, you feel like you have to eat your money's worth. And now we don't want to ride anything because we're stuffed, which increases capacity for Disney. It's a win-win for Disney and not for us. <laughs> um, was it worth it, Rena, or what? The food was great. The characters were awesome, but I don't know if I'd spend 80 bucks again. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, it is It is pricey. I, I mean, I don't know if it's worth the $80 price tag for two people. Maybe even like 50 would be... I know, really, yeah. I mean, it is Disney. We got to keep that in mind, you know what I mean? And it's all you can eat. I mean, oh my Jesus. Oh, yeah, I'm dying right now. <laughs> I just, I felt like I had to keep eating, guys. <laughs> I, I just couldn't, like, ugh. Anyways, let's go ride uh, Star Tours. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it always is amazing walking through Fantasyland. Storybook Land canal boats are just so classic. But at nighttime, these trees are full of birds that'll poop all over you, man. Huh, Rena? We couldn't even ride it last time. We didn't have an umbrella, man. We had to jump out of line. <laughs> that was freaking terrible. But besides the bird poop in the evening, this is a classic Disney attraction. This is like Walt's, you know, brainchild right here, really. This was his, uh, his idea for the most part, I do believe. I love that ride so much. It's kind of a throwback to Lilliputian land, I think, almost in a way. It was gonna be an original land here at Disneyland. Did you know that? Like, with a bunch of tiny little people and houses and stuff. Yeah, you got Moana and the genie out here. Oh, cool. Moana and the genie. The genie's looking a little slim these days. <laughs> <laughs> he lost his powers, you know. He still had powers after he wasn't a genie anymore. He just wasn't tied to the lamp. Well, you didn't watch the TV series, right? Because uh, <laughs> he, he, couldn't, he couldn't beat anybody up, man, I'm telling you. Like, he still had powers, but it was nothing. Like wow. when he was a real genie. Wow. <laughs> Trying to catch the train in Toontown. This is where they had the Jungle Cruise premiere over here at the Fantasyland Theater. I hope they do something with it pretty soon. I never saw Mickey's Mickey and the Magical Map. Rena said it was awesome. It was amazing. I guess I missed out. Whatever. I don't even care. They bring it back I think it's done. Maybe they'll come up with something else. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, nothing like a nice calm train ride through Disneyland. Ah, Disneyland. Look at this. You just can't match that level of just Walt Disney right here, man. Of course, a lot of the uh, animations and stuff are really current, updated, you know. But a lot of this is older stuff, too. Going into the primeval world, which was a, a 1964 World's Fair attraction made by Disney, which is just amazing. I mean, the history is just—it's so rich, you guys. Uh, there's not another Disney park that could like match the the history. Obviously, you know what I mean. This is Walt's original park, the only park he ever stepped foot in. Technically, I mean, he was on the Florida property before ground broke, so I guess that kind of counts. Here we go, right here, guys. The prime of the world. This is just neat.
That's Chewy right there. Walt named all these dinosaurs. That one is Chewy. <laughs> that is so cool, man. These pterodactyls are always pretty creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the baby triceratops trying to get out of the egg. <laughs> Little boogers. Oh man. Talk about going over the top with the baby in a version. Sorry guys, I'm using my phone today. It's the low light is kind of lacking. But... And the light at the end of the tunnel, back to reality, I guess. Kind of a bummer. Ah, this is our stop. New Orleans Square, the most beautiful of any Disneyland anywhere, and that's a scientific fact. What are we gonna do, Rena? Pirates? Yes. Haunted Mansion holiday? Yes. I heard Jack is taking over the mansion. Yep. <laughs> we already know that. We've already been there. Where are we going? Uh, no beignets today? I'm stuffed. To I am stuffed. Maybe before we leave. Yeah, okay. We'll grab some on the way out. Alright, sounds good. 20 years of ghoulish delights. Has the mansion been being overhauled that long, Rena? Yeah. Nah. -uh. 20 years of the haunted mansion in Berlin. What? Dude, I was like 15. Are you serious? My god. Jack is back. Back again. Into the mansion with you. Gone. You foolish mortal. Look, Serena. That pumpkin says 20 down there. 20 years. Just like you told me. And upon exiting the mansion, we see Jack and Sally up here greeting everybody who's going to visit the mansion that they took over. Look at them, aren't they just a lovely couple? Oh, it's them. There they go. And there is Jack, my good sir. Oh, Captain Jack. That only counts if he has a ship, Rena. He's in the Reno said she wants to seek out some salty old pirates, eh? Yeah. But you come to the right place. Yeah. Serena says that the right side is always faster. But that's a lie. It's almost always faster. Because one time, one time I took the right side and the people who entered at the same time on the left side were way ahead of us, man. Just one time now. This time it looks like it's working out though, so whatever. You ready for the smell, Rena? Yep. Come on, step in, even with the masks. Ready? Ready? Go. Uh, they actually achieved that by using 100-year-old water. Yeah. From a uh, from real pirate sea. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's just a fact. It's a, it's a well-known fact. I'm surprised we didn't know that actually. Got some guys painting over here for the new whatever's going on over here. Actually, a guy opened that door, but I didn't want to be rude and peek in there. <laughs> but yeah, they're they're working on this area right here. I don't know what they're gonna have. Nobody knows. It's a mystery. But it's time to get some beignets, baby. Uh, yes, the mobile order line for the Mickey-shaped beignets. <laughs> the mint tulips. All right, let's do it. Whatever. All right, Reno, what do we have? I told we you. have a mix of beignets. We have regular beignets and we have the seasonal strawberry chocolate beignets, which I have not yet tried. You gotta shake up the bag. You do. That's like that's just a thing, you know. If you don't do that, you're doing it you're doing it wrong. Yeah, you're gonna waste a bunch of powdered sugar at the bottom. Like uh. powdered sugar makes it. I guess I'll just uh, go for it and take a bite of the beer. really subtle. It kind of tastes like just regular beignets. 
but they're good. I mean, beignets are amazing. They're a million times better Mickey shapes. So. All right, guys, this is the seasonal uh, strawberry mint julep, and look, it has like a little strawberry right in there. Look at that. That's cool, man. And of course, some mint. So I'm just gonna give it a sip and see what's up. It looks kind of dirty or something. I don't know what's up with it. Ooh. Ooh, that's good. That tastes like, that's almost like more refreshing than the regular mint julep, to be honest. <laughs> that might be, that might be uh, hurting some people's feelings by saying that, but. I really like that. It has a little bit of mint and then the strawberry kicks through at the end right there. That's really good. I would definitely re recommend that guy. Oh yeah, that's a nice twist on the uh, on the regular mint julep. Five out of five. All right, we're about to do something that Rena has never done here at Disneyland, which is Pirate's Lair or Tom Sawyer Island, as I know it by. It's gonna be exciting. Rena, are you happy? You excited? I'm pretty excited. I saw the canoes go by. I've never done that. Canoe? Oh, I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Reno, hold on. I'm holding this on. is a crazy ride, trust me. You don't want to fall off into the water. No telling how deep that is. Now they have the Mark Twain dock today. I don't know what's going on. I'm sure it's just some routine maintenance. And the sailing ship Columbia is somewhere out there selling the, the rivers of America. And it looks like they're doing some work on some phantasmic stuff over here or something. I don't know what's going on. I really wish they would get that going again, Rena. It's really... Disneyland is lacking right now because of that, you know. Like, seriously. At least we got to see a parade last night, though, at Oogie that Boogie Bash. Awesome. Man, that was, a, that was just so refreshing. And this is a whole new attraction for you. I'm excited for you. You've never been here. You don't even know what's going on here, huh? I have huh? no idea. You don't. You've never it. seen anything, huh? Cool. <laughs> well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow you and let you explore. What? Yep. Here we go. This is gonna be. We're gonna stick the landing. Be careful. This guy's a pro. Oh, look at that. That's just experience right there. Look at. The canoes, I have never done it. Gotta do it. Do you get on it over here? That is, that's a, that's a, like an opening day attraction right there. That's a survivor, Rena. <laughs> I don't know about that, Rena. I think that's a bad idea. I have a bad feeling about this. Can we go in there? No, I don't, no, no! Do you fancy a pass through Dead Man's Grotto? Yes, Dead Man's Grotto. I would like, like, All right, Rena, be careful. <laughs> she's going in. I don't think she knows what she's getting herself into. Are there actual dead men in here? I don't know. Look around the corner. Right there. Ah! <laughs> oh. Where are you going, you salty old dog? <gasps> Look it! What a, a sad, 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 tragic ending for this good soul, I, I'm sure. Oh, there's another one. Look. Somewhere's gonna be your eternal resting place. I guess Disneyland is where places <laughs> Warning to all. Here be the chest of Davy Jones. <laughs> Did that scare you? <laughs> Rena tried to open the chest. What are you doing? Don't touch anything. <laughs> what does it say, Rena? We pirates face a sea of troubles. Our dying grows sorrowly. Uh oh, they couldn't figure it out, or they couldn't finish it. Yes. I think someone's after me, treasure. Just don't mention it. Not to say that. Parlay? Parlay. <laughs> ah, I've seen that. The treasure's mine, says I. Now off with you. I see daylight. Are you happy, Rena? We made that alive. <laughs> or did we? <laughs> I don't know, you touched the treasure, I did it. Where are we? Ah, the sun! 
Oh. So what'd you think about that, Rena? Thought it was Dead quite, Man's Grotto? Quite nice. Quite nice, huh? Quite nice and a little terrifying. <laughs> you shouldn't have touched the chest. Well, oh, I my mean, gosh. it's for exploring. I was curious. All right, we got you. I wonder if this old water fountain works. No, no, it doesn't. Rena, get that treasure chest out of there. Okay. <laughs> it's not coming up anymore. I don't know, go back down with it, maybe. You can't do it. It won't work. It won't work. Bummer. These guys can do it. They yeah, the kids could do it. Me. They have more energy. <laughs> All right, Rena's gonna attempt the pontoon bridge. <laughs> go. Go. <laughs> Go, donkey! <laughs> you didn't tell me it did that! Oh! 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 Go! Rina! <laughs> that was terrifying. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. <laughs> There's all kinds of hidden treasure here, guys. Everywhere you look, there's something for for you to explore, find, for the kids to find, and they love it here. Serena loves it here, too. She's a kid at heart, though. <laughs> it's time to leave the island, Rena. We got time for one more ride, and then we gotta go pick up our baby, so. What are we gonna do? Hi. Carousel of progress? Nah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, squeak through Fantasy on. Ran, get some rides, leave at 8 o'clock then. All right, plan. I don't want to ruin this for people, but right across from Big Thunder over here, there's a very, very discreet little building here called the Shipping Office, and there's some sweet tables in the shade right here for a lot of the day. But no one really watches my channel that much anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'm not ruining it for anybody. <laughs> <laughs> But look at this, nice little sitting area, private, Delivered people don't really Mike know about Fink. it. Who's Mike Fink? Mike Fink, Mike Fink Riverboats. That's hey. all I know. <laughs> there used to be the Mike Fink Riverboats here. So I was told that there was bottle filling stations on both sides of the restaurant. I don't know what, where, oh, over here, look at that. Wow, Red Rose Tavern. So they got tap water, they got tap water inside right here. Both sides, you said, so. That's kind of cool. I wonder if it tastes good. Think it's gonna taste good, Rena? I hope so. Me too. <laughs> I love Red Rose Tavern. Rena hates it, but I love it. She said the food is. The, she says the food is terrible here. <laughs> I like the atmosphere, but the food is subpar. I like the food. I think it's pretty good. So there. <laughs> but I, I'm a big Beauty and the Beast fan, though. So. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna snatch a ride on Snow White's Enchanted Wish, which is an excellent, excellent ride, guys. They did a great job updating this ride, and I love it. I think it is excellent. The uh, the new technology that was added to the ride, like the screens and whatnot, is just, I think it's awesome. It, uh, it definitely brought the ride up a notch. It didn't take away from the history or the nostalgia, in my opinion. They still have a lot, a lot of elements of the old ride in here, but, this is our last ride. I'm gonna have to peel us away after this. We have like a four hour drive, let's be real. There's gonna be some traffic. Like, We need to get home and get the baby and watch the Raiders. Hopefully they win today. But anyways, it's gonna be a sad time leaving Disneyland, but we are key holders, so we could come back whenever we want pretty much. We'll be back. Well, we have some blog out days. We have the, the Believe key, the second from the top, but it still has a lot of days. Not bad. It's gonna be worth it. We'll be back. Don't cry, Rena. There's Dopey's car. Here comes Sneezy. Here we go. Oh, wrong ride. Okay. Yay! Oh, look at we're in the, the Seven Dwarfs Cottage. Yo, lady. No. What a dope. You know what they say, all good things must come to an end. I don't like that thing. We're pass holders, who cares? We could come here and waste time for a few hours if we wanted to. It's such a long drive. I don't want to go home. 
I know. I know that is kind of a bummer, but we do have to get home. Look at the beautiful cat in the background. This is actually the back of the cat. Yeah, but that's for another video. <laughs> okay, guys. If you like this video, consider subscribing to this channel. Give me a like and comment. I'd like to know what you think. And we are done, right? Yep. All right, everybody. I'm Steve, and I'm out. If you look closely, Walt is kindly showing us the way out. We know, Walt. But we'll be back, mark my words. We will be back. Tomorrow? No, not tomorrow. <laughs>